Are you the type of person that likes to cram a thousand things in your wallet so by the time you go sit down in your car or truck, it feels like you're sitting on a giant boulder and you gave yourself a bunch of back problems and you can't sleep right because your back hurts because you're in your super big wallet? <laughs> no longer, my friend. Today, we're talking about low-profile EDC wallets. <laughs> What is up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gear Talk Tuesdays. Today we are talking about an awesome low profile EDC wallet that I've been using for a few months that I absolutely love and I highly recommend to you. It is by Armor Supply Co. Uh, it is a killer little wallet. It is super low profile, very slim. Uh, it's made from like an aircraft aluminum, so it's super strong. I've dropped it, I've accidentally thrown it across the room and it is super, super solid. Uh, it can hold up to 1 to 12 cards depending on what you carry around. Uh, you can stack them up in there, no problem. I carry like 4 or 5 cards and it's still, you know, fairly low key. I mean, if you want to get like 12 cards, sure. Um, it kind of defeats the purpose of the low profile wallet, but who out there carries 12 cards around? That's weird anyways. But yeah, so great, great low profile design. The money clip holds a fair amount of cash depending on what you carry around. I don't really carry on much cash with me these days, but I mean, I've put, you know, 20, 40, 60 bucks in there and it holds that just fine without really sticking out there. Um, the only downside I'd say to it is just the the, the curve there when you sit down, if, depending on what kind of pants you're wearing, I mean that kind of might dig into you a little bit. I really haven't had a problem with it, but I mean if I was to fix one thing, that would be it. But other than that, I absolutely love the design of the wallet. It's got the indent here, so when you have your cards in there, you just slip it out, card pops out, no problem. I use a little multi-tool for, for an example. So card in there to push it out, shoop, pump, comes right out. Uh, I recommend if you do get this wallet, whatever cards you use the most, like your debit card or whatever credit card you use the most, keep that on the top. That way it's just right there in front. You can slip it out, no problem. Um, then I keep my driver's license underneath that card just because I probably would use that one over any other card most of the time. Uh, so, like I said, um, aluminum grade material, super strong, super sturdy, very low profile. Uh, comes with a lifetime warranty, which is super cool. I mean, I don't really see you really damaging this thing too hard, but they are backing their product, which is something that I love personally when I go to shop for things. If you back your product, I mean, that says a lot about you and your company, so super cool that they do that. Uh, I also do believe that they um, donate $1 to um, veterans, which is cool. Always good to support the veterans whenever you can, um, you know, through companies or wherever. Um, when you buy this product, you get a super cool little gift box. Comes with all sorts of things that we will dig into next. Okay, so in the box, when you open it, I had it open already. So let's replay this. So when you open it, the wallet is on top, of course. So you can see how that looks. You have the multi-tool that I kind of talked about briefly for a second. Come on, little box. Okay, multi-tool. So this thing is awesome. I mean, I haven't used it yet, but just having it in the wallet with my cards is super cool. It's got a flathead screwdriver. It's got a can opener, a bottle opener, a wire cutter. It's got a nut driver. It's got, what's that? Uh, a nail puller. Don't think I'll ever use that. But uh, hey, super cool to have this. You never know when you might get in a situation where you need any of these items. So awesome addition to the package. Uh, this is a key holder. I don't use the key holder just because um, with the keys in this thing and then like my alarm key fob, there's a lot of extra bulk that I don't personally like, but it is a cool thing to have. I've put keys on it just to see how it feels and it's, it's all right, but I personally don't use it, but super cool addition in the gift holder. You've got stickers because you can never have too many stickers. I mean, I've got a whole horde of stickers that I haven't even put on anything yet because you never know when the situation might arise where something needs a sticker. And if you don't have a sticker, I mean, what are we doing here, folks? Uh, next, after that, you have a little cool greeting card. Um, one side, it says, welcome to the family. Other side, work hard, stay humble, Armor Supply Co. So super cool. Thank you, Armor Supply Co., for inviting me to the family. I definitely will be using this wallet for quite some time, so thank you for that. Uh, also, in the package, you have a little tool because it's got these screws on the front that you can use that little guy, pop all those loose in case you need to um, replace the little bungee that's in there that holds it all together. They have a little replacement bungee. 
which is super cool. Uh, and they also have another little package with some extra screws and like a bottle opener there to put on your key holder. So a super cool little kit. Uh, if you are looking for a gift for a person in your family that likes everyday carry tactical style things or needs a new wallet, this is a killer little setup that I highly recommend. So uh, if you have any questions about this, please do feel free to shoot them down in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can about them. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below also in case you want to check this stuff out. I believe this little kit's like $55 on their website. So I mean, for what you're getting, it's a super cool little setup. I highly recommend it. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, please do the trifecta and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications for the future. And uh, I will catch you in the next video.